What it do, family? What it do? What it do? It's your boy, Jonathan R. Whitfield, coming back at you once again with another video. So first of all, I want to say thank you to everybody for subscribing. We finally reached 1,000 subscribers. Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. Yes, that means the channel is growing. That means I'm reaching a new audience. And that means y'all rocking with your boy, you know? So uh, we get there. So like I said, I'm going to be doing... Uh, live session, live chat, answer a lot of your questions stuff, and stuff like that. Just talking about relationships, dating, self-help, uh, Virgos, of course. I'm going to be doing that probably after the holidays, I'm going home for Christmas, you know, see the family and all that good stuff. So uh, y'all rock with me, man. But yeah, in, in matter of fact, keep liking, see, keep sharing, keep subscribing, man. We're going we're gonna to keep growing because I think I'm sharing a, a, a great perspective, or just a male perspective of, of how we see these topics that we talk, talk about. So. Um, once again, I am a minister. I'm a Virgo. Um, my perspective is just that. So I try to I try to add a unique perspective to the game. Also, if you guys need private sessions uh, on your questions or your issues and things like that, email me, right? At jwhitfieldinspires at gmail.com. Email me. Remember, this is part of my business. This is what I do. Uh, I provide a lot of insight on you guys. I don't just give you no nonsense answers. I really take my time, read the emails, if you do have a private session and phone calls. So we have we have a session, we, we walk through your problems or your issues together and we get to a, a solution. I do follow-ups and I enjoy doing this. Got a lot of things coming for 2019. Um, I'm doing a podcast, got a couple books coming. Um, a lot of stuff, man. A lot of stuff, just how y'all be on the lookout. I appreciate it if you guys support. Uh, if you like what you see here, just definitely support, man. And yeah, we're going to get it in. So, today's video is going to be about why is the Virgo man ghosting you? Why is the Virgo man ghosting you? Now, I see this issue a lot. If you guys look through my video and you look through my comments on the videos, this issue has come up maybe like 85, 90% of the time, you know. And I, I, I just feel like I, just, I need to provide some insight because a lot of ladies are like, yo, I was talking to him for a few weeks and we hit it off and everything, it was fireworks and, you know, Cupid was shooting arrows and then it just, it just disappeared. What happened? What's up with this guy? So I'm trying to answer your question, man. Um, now bear with me. It's a little complicated, you know, and also I got to do a disclaimer. Y'all know that uh, Zodiac signs are a guideline. Right, it's just a guideline to the traits of a particular sign or a particular person who's born under that sign. This means that you should take it with a grain of salt. This means that um, uh, sometimes people it may these, these things I say may not apply to every single person or every single Vir Virgo, but it applies to most. And I don't speak in absolutes, and there are exceptions to every rule. So it definitely, exceptions to every rule. So just keep that in mind. But it's gonna apply to most. So anyway, why is the Virgo guy uh, ghosting you? So one of the first reasons why he's ghosting you, and I know I got my notebook, is that uh, we need space, right? Virgos, we require a lot and lots of space. You know, we you can be talking to you because one, remember, um, Virgo is an earth sign. So that means we're very grounded. You know, we move slow. We're very mutable. Um, when we take our time with things, but we're also very nurturing. And it's it's also a feminine sign as well as only zodiac sign. My understanding is represented by a woman. And so with that being said, it means it's very nurturing. And so so reason why a lot of you guys hit it off with Virgo men, because we're naturally nurturing, we're naturally we're naturally caring. And this is what we do. So we like to try to heal people. And we like a lot of times we attract women that need healing. You know, it just it just natural. So we we just like a mother, we just uh give our all. We love companionship, we love getting close to people, we love talking, and we just love having a good time. So most of the time when y'all hit it off, this is what he's doing. He's just he's not trying to play with you. We he naturally just hit it off, especially if you're a cool person. He's gonna he's gonna really naturally hit it naturally hit it off with you and you have a great time. But the ghosting you part. So like I said, we do need space, we do need time. And a lot of time we get overwhelmed with your emotions, we get overwhelmed with your feelings. Um, we always need time because we go, we go through a lot of stuff. We always criticizing ourselves. And we taking in a lot of energy from the world, and from the daily process of everything. So we need that time to, that time and space 
to to recalibrate ourselves. And a lot of times it's hard to balance the time between you and ourselves. And if y'all y'all just met or something like that and y'all hit it off, then he's just gonna he's just gonna back off. And it, it, a lot of times it has nothing to do with who you are. And a lot of times it doesn't. A lot of times it doesn't have anything to do with who you are, ladies. Remember that. It doesn't I mean sometimes it does, but a lot of times it doesn't. It's just that we gotta have our space. It don't matter if you're a girlfriend, family member, mother. Uh, we just need our time alone um, to cope with life. And that goes into my next reason. Another reason why broken man may be ghosting you is that, like I said before, you got too many things going on. Like, right? So we're taking a lot of energy. We one of the signs that feed off energy because we read people well. And we, we, we read women very well. We're taking a lot of the emotions, a lot of the energy because remember, it's a feminine sign. So we take that in. So, Think of this like a computer. I talked to some of my subscribers about this on the phone. If you, if a computer, if you have too many tabs open, eventually the computer is going to slow down, right? I don't care if it's a MacBook Pro with all the space. Eventually, this computer is going to slow down. It's going to it's going to start moving sluggish. So after a while, you got you got to close some of these tabs. You got to empty some of the some of the stuff, some of the cache. I think that's how you say it. Some of the cache. I don't know how you say it. That's in the computer. You got to clean the computer out. So the computer can run um, exceptionally well again, and the same with the Virgo man. We have a lot of tabs open in life because we most of us are doing so much or trying to do so much, and our mind and energy is on everything. Because remember, our passion is what we do. We we want to do our passion above everything else, above relationships, above family, even above our mothers, because our passion is who we are. It it, it is what makes us tick as men. As Virgo men, it, it would make us go. So without our passion, we can't do nothing. We can't love you. We can't love ourselves. So we need we need to we need to close those tabs in life. Um, um, then closing tabs in life so we can function again. So that's why he may be ghosting you because he got too much going on, and he might love being around. You might love spending time. You having a good time, but it takes a lot of energy to be with you, and so you just got to back off. You got to back off, not because he don't like you. But he can't. He just can't function again. It's it's hard for him to do what he's doing in life and love you all the time. It, you gotta uh, old, older Virgo men maybe have figured this out, but it takes us a while to figure how to how to balance this so, out. Another reason why he may be ghosting you is that he may be backing off just to cope with life. You know, because all this stuff I'm saying is running together. Now, with that is we we really have to cope with life, man. Because we have, like I said, we have a lot going on. And we can easily get depressed with life. We one of those those people, those signs that can easily get depressed because we have anxiety. We're always thinking about a lot. And we're overcritical of ourselves. And so when we're trying to cope with life, especially if a regular man has a lot going on or he has some family issues, he's not going to talk to you. We we just back off. We naturally push people away, and we don't want to. But we have to. We just have to cope with life, but, and we need a time and energy to cope with life. So it, it's it's just hard to do both at the same time. So you, you, you sometimes like Virgo men are notorious for spending ample amount of time with women and just disappearing, you know. But the disappearing is not a bad thing. It's something we got to learn how to deal with, you know, because we are so accustomed to doing things on our own and not having nobody in our space. So it's just naturally, it's almost an instinct to do this. But it's not. We don't set out to say, okay, you know, I'm gonna talk to this woman. I'm gonna just leave her, or I'm gonna just go go missing on her. That's not our. That's not our mission. It's it's we we were talking to a woman and we with her, and it's just suddenly we just need and we just need space. We just need to go cope. We need to reboot. And we don't know when it's gonna come. It can come. It can come at midnight. You know, we we even do this with our families. Like my family and friends tell me this all the time. Like, yeah, you can't go weeks without calling home, or you can't go weeks without calling me, man. What's up? You know, I know I do it. I don't mean, I don't want to. I don't mean to do it, but I have to cope. Remember, for me, I'm in ministry. So I need lots and lots of time to myself to cope, you know. So that's the reason, man. So just to give him his space, you know. And I know some some women, I stories I read say the guy didn't talk to them for months. You know, it's a difference between COVID and eating space and somebody not talking to you for months. You know, but we're gonna get into that. Okay, another reason why Virgo may be ghosting you is because old habits are hard to break. Old habits are hard to break. Um, yeah. So we're accustomed to spending. Ample amount of time alone. Even if you see us with a lot of people, 
90% of the time, we still probably be alone. Because that's what we do, you know? It's like we like it's almost like a tree sitting by the water. We just, we planted by the water somewhere and just soaking in the atmosphere, soaking in the vibe, recharging, you know? But with that being said, when somebody enters into our life, it takes us a while to readjust to make her a part of our life where we have to spend all this time together. Because it's hard, cause we're accustomed to sitting and meditating and getting it together. So we move slow because we have to adjust to putting you into our lives. And just let him do it, he'll do it. But make sure if he's doing it now, I want him, you gotta make sure he's communicating with you. That's another thing. God, I get this a lot. We do go ghost a lot, but you gotta make sure this Virgo man is communicating with you why he's going ghost. That's very important. One relationship I was in, uh, she was very upset with me because I used to ghost her a lot, you know, but I didn't do it on purpose. I didn't do it to say, I'm just go, I'm just go away. Remember, like I said, I'm a minister, so uh, I do a lot of stuff with the community. I'm always talking to people, counseling people, um, everything with the kids. It's a lot going on. So you, you can imagine, I, I need a lot of time to get myself together so I can be right for the people. You know, I be preaching and stuff, you know. And it, I, it isn't, it's not a game. It's not no BS. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really take my job serious, what I do with the people, because the people have real issues they're dealing with. So in order for me to be right, I have to meditate, have to pray, have to spend time alone, like days at a time sometimes. And I got in absolute solitude, you know? So I just tell her this, and she's getting mad, but, but I, I, I explained to her what I was doing. At first I was doing it, and I didn't realize I was doing it. I didn't realize how bad it was hurting her until she told me. So I said, okay, let me communicate. I had to put her on a schedule. I know it sounds elementary, but I said, look, these days I'm going to talk to you, and these days I can't, you know. And she's had to accept that, you know, because I can't, I can't do no different until we, we get to know each other more and I can tolerate more of her presence and her energy, and I can balance it. But those old, those old habits I had was very hard to break because I was doing this for years, not ghosting people, but being alone, taking my time I need for years. And I needed that time, and I just had to adapt. We are a mutable sign. We can adapt. But you gotta let us know. So if he's ghosting you and not letting you know, that's that's bad. It's not good. Cause he's gonna ghost you regardless. But he make sure he's telling you exactly what he's doing, what's going on, so it can be fair. Another reason why, and this is a pretty obvious reason why he may be ghosting you, is he could have just lost interest. Interest, you know. That's 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 a possibility. I don't really want to say that, but that's that's the truth. Um, you know, we we do like spend a lot of time with people, but we have to figure somebody out. You know, it could be anything to make us lose interest. Because we're very, we're very picky, we're very, very perfectionist. So um, it could be anything, you know. It's, it's anybody guess why he lost interest. Because we're very particular about stuff, you know. Y'all can be having a good time, and he can see you do something negative. Because we, we, we patient because we wait, we wait it out, wait to see how for your true color to reveal themselves. And women can hide their true colors a lot, and we're very cautious because we don't want to get, we just don't want to get caught up in nothing. Um, I know. So I'll use myself as an example again. I mean, I, I was talking to a chick one time. We was, we was dating, you know, and she was a nice chick. And I was just like, it's something about her. And I said, I don't know. I mean, I wasn't waiting on her to mess up. But I was enjoying We had a good time. But then uh, I think we was in a restaurant or something. She started acting out with the waiter or the waitress. She, she got real negative with the waitress. And that turned me off. You know, she was a good chick up until that point. And I was like, that's not, that's not what I want. You know, I just, and I just, I kind of went ghost, you know, because I, like, I, I said, I don't, I don't want a woman like that. You know, you know how to behave yourself, you know what I'm saying? You know how to conduct yourself. And it, and it wasn't like the waitress was all out of pocket. I mean, the waitress did make a mistake, you know, but mistakes happen in life. It wasn't, it was it, but the mistake the waitress made wasn't called for all what she did. You know, she was, you know, getting all like this and loud and being rude. You know, I said, here's the better way to handle this. Just ask for the manager and, and bring it over, you know. You don't have to do this. You're embarrassing me, you know. But it came out that that mask that she had on was lifted. I was like, no. So it could be anything, you know. Y'all, y'all could be talking for a while, and he can see you maybe get sloppy drunk or something, or, or just not acting right. Because because these little things reveal your character. It reveals your character. We very good at picking out character. So we're not gonna. We can see that early on. We just like, you know, I'm not gonna get involved. I'm just going my way. You know, and so that's one good reason, man. And, and also, 
we can sense that you may be, we, we take our time to move slow because we can sense that you may be running from something. You know, like I said, we, we attract women that need healing a lot, which is cool. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, there's nothing wrong with that because that's who we are. But we know, we sense that a woman may be running from something because maybe she may run from an old relationship. You know, um, guys she used to talk to, uh, she may be out there wilding. Then when she get with us, she want to change her life. And that's, that's fine. But we don't want to be with somebody who's necessarily running from something but hasn't healed themselves. Because we all want something better, right? Because we, we know how to teach women how to be a better version of themselves. But I know I've tracked a lot of women who have been running from something or they, they had a lot of trauma in their lives. And they, haven't got, they haven't gotten over it. So they got to me seeking healing because I got, I got, you know, I got my life together for the most part. I'm not still working stuff out. I'm not perfect, but stability and stuff like that. And they come to me, but they haven't healed themselves. They haven't had, they haven't had time to, um, just cleanse themselves or whatever they were going through. So they bring a lot of baggage to me and it's hard because it's hard to fight against that. It's hard to, they, I can't love them properly or they can't love me properly. They can't receive because they expect me to do the same thing those other negative men did to them. And it hurts. And I don't have time for that. You know, I'm not, I don't, we don't judge people by your past, but it just, you know, I, I read a quote the other day. It says, stop disturbing men that you're not ready for. Stop disturbing men that you're not ready for. It's just like a man. Stop going, stop disturbing, stop trying to talk to women that you're not ready to talk to. If you know, you, if you know you're not ready to be in a relationship, stop trying to talk to these women. So if you know you're not ready for a man who, who's a man, who's a good man, don't do it. You know, because you're definitely going to turn them off. It's definitely going to make them ghost you. But we can sense that, you know. But these are just a few things that make a broken man uh, probably be ghosting you. Also, I forgot about this one. I forgot about this one. One, one last reason he might be ghosting you is because, and this is very elementary, he may like you a lot and gets nervous, right? Look at my video about the shy Virgo male. You know, see, what I, going off what I just said, a lot of times we may talk to you and like you a lot and realize that, wow, I really like this girl, and I know I can probably love her very quickly. So we get, we get nervous, and we just back off because we're like, oh, I'm not ready. This, just, man, this goes with what I just said. We, we, we get overwhelmed, you know, we get overwhelmed, and we just get nervous. And, and we don't know what to do. It's almost like you're chasing somebody and chasing somebody, and then you can get them and be like, oh, I really got her. I know one time, right, this chick I was trying to talk to, I, uh, I liked her a lot, man. I just felt like I couldn't get her, but I was trying to get her. I was going at her, going at her. And I asked her out, and she said yes. I was surprised. I was like, oh, oh, oh. You know, I don't know. I don't know why I was so surprised. You know, she was down with it. And she was cooperative and she was ready. It was like, yo, she's like, I'm waiting on you, baby. You know, and we went out and stuff like that, but I got nervous. And I, I, I kind of go with her a little bit, but I got so overwhelmed. Um, I didn't get intimidated. I got, I don't know, just butterflies. I just couldn't handle it because um, I, wasn't, I wasn't ready. She was ready, but I wasn't ready. You know, and I, I thought I was ready, but I wasn't. And I just kind of, you know, um, Freaked out. Not like freaked out, but you know, just over, over what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. But I just wasn't ready. Because I knew she was ready. I knew that she was prepared. She wanted a relationship. Uh, but I wasn't ready to give her what she needed. And that's another reason, too. I wasn't ready to give her what she needed in life or what she needed out of a relationship. Because I was still getting my stuff together. You know, but I enjoyed the idea of talking to her. And I thought I was ready. But when it came down to it, I wasn't ready. You know, and I, 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 I'm glad I. I mean, I'm not glad I go to her, but I'm glad I backed off because because I wasn't ready. I probably would have um, messed up her life, you know, get, yeah, got her out of her feelings, and I'm playing, you know, so I didn't want to do that. But I, and I, I communicated that to her later, but yeah. So um, make sure that he's communicating with you. He got to be communicating. I don't care how ghosty, like when I, like I said, when I go to the chicken in relationship, I communicated with her why I'm ghosting her. Why I'm taking this time alone? When she can contact, well, when, yeah, when she can contact me, when I'm gonna contact her, I, I was like, look, I'm gonna be doing this, 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 and this. You know, I'm probably gonna, I'm not gonna contact you during this time, but you can contact me. This is what I'm doing. You may see me on social media, you may not, but it's a difference between. See, he may be ghosting you, but he may be on social media because social media, you can, you can upload a post at 12, 12 a.m. or 12 p.m. 
and go play basketball for three, four hours. You don't have to engage in that post versus you being physical in a physical presence of somebody. You got to engage them. You got to entertain them. You know, you got to you got to entertain them for an hour and that's wasting time. You know, so he may throw a post up here, throw a post up there. It's, it's just an outlet. It's just an outlet to to the world. So if he goes and you're not communicating, that's not good. And that's not fair. That's not right. You know, so you got to tell him, I don't appreciate that. You know, because a woman had to tell me. She had to tell me. You know, I, thought, I just thought it was right. I thought it was right. You know, but anyway, we don't got too long. Again, I thank y'all for subscribing, man. Hit me up if you need a session, you know, uh, email, um, telephone, whatever. We're going to make it happen. We're going to walk through it together. Because uh, a lot of stuff is it's hard for me answering comments and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, keep it coming, man. Keep subscribe, keep sharing, and watch out for the stuff that's coming through that 2019. Y'all support your boy. I'm going. I'm doing book, podcast, all type of stuff, man. Highlight your boy.